What's up guys? Today we're back with another video. Oh boy, oh boy, we just got 18 inches of snow. Last night I did go out plowing, but today we're back at it. We will be using our 2017 Chevy 3500 dump truck here with a 10 foot fisher. We are just using the straight blade. I took the V plow off. I much prefer this for running this truck and we have a half load of salt and I think a few of our commercial properties will definitely need to put down some salt here. But let's Let's get in the truck and let's get to plowing. Now this year it seems we will be having record breaking snowfall totals which is pretty exciting. The more snow we get the more money uh, we get to make here for landscaping company and the more videos I get to make here which is pretty cool here. Let's put four wheel drive and we're a bit snowed in. I probably should have plowed a little bit better last night here but today we're on the Lone Oak map and we do have a pretty busy day here. I have a full crew out uh, plowing here today and our goal is to get a few of our neighbors plowed out and then we have a a pretty big commercial lot and that is a self storage unit so we have a lot of work in out of us which is a lot of fun though I really do like running these plow trucks here they're a lot of fun and like it did touch upon guys a record breaking snowfall looks like we're gonna get over 100 inches of snow this year uh, sometimes you get a lot of snow sometimes uh, you uh, get average and then other times you don't get that much but uh, like it did touch upon guys this is a lot of fun for us because I get to make a lot of videos and uh, the company does make a lot lot of money here but we do have the extra camera and tripod along with we also do have a few GoPro camera views with us as well which is pretty neat but I think we're good here at our house and let's see we don't want to knock out the nail box there and we'll do our neighbors really quickly uh, we usually help them out here it's a lot easier to snow plow than to be outside in the cold a uh, snow blown but there is a full mod that's up on my website if you guys would like to go check it on out every single mod I use is over there and this is a pretty sweet truck here really do like the Duramaxes and this body style especially looks really really good here and we do have our company logo on the side as well so pretty sweet setup overall now with this truck we do have quite a few strobes on it which is pretty neat here definitely want to add a few more especially at night and that definitely helps us on out here because as we are a plow truck driver we're backing up we're doing so many different maneuvers we definitely want people to know to kind of be slow around us and uh, to just be ready uh, for when we're backing up here but the uh, Fisher straight blade just seems to work quite a lot here some of the other plows including those V plows just continue to crash my uh, farm sim so not sure what's happening there definitely want to get that worked out because those plows are a lot of fun to use uh, but they just keep crashing my game all right I think we'll do one or two more neighbor uh, driveways and then we'll get out to that commercial site All right, we're pretty much done here with all these neighborhood driveways. Let's head on over. So like it did touch upon, guys, this is a self-storage unit. It is a pretty big complex here. We definitely have a lot of work, and they do want us to salt it when we are done here. But whoa, what do we have here? Looks like we do have a plow truck driver in off the side of the road. Let's make sure he's okay. Maybe he needs a hand. That looks to be an F-150. Now, I don't see a uh, 4x4 on this, so this is definitely two-wheel drive. Yeah, that must not have been a fun ride here. I could definitely... Uh, get out a chain here and help pull you out and you could get back to plowing. 
Alright guys, so we're gonna help pull them out here really quickly. Should be a pretty quick and simple thing here. We'll just put a chain on it and we should be able to get him out here. He only needs to get onto the asphalt and then it, he is good to go here as well. Really quickly, we are blocking the traffic here, but turning in here is a bit tight here. Usually, I have noticed that it is a bit slippery as well. So we got the chain there, we should be good to go and this should uh, come out no problem. We'll just slowly drag the truck out here a little bit further and there we have it. Alright, that was pretty quick and easy. Hopefully your day goes better. Get back to plowing. That was a pretty quick and easy thing to do. It's definitely going to help those people out. And I think tow trucks are probably bu uh, pretty busy now. The roads are slippery. People are uh, ending up on the side of the road here. But I am pretty excited to kind of plow it out a storage unit. It's one of our best commercial sites. And we do the lawn care everything for them as well. So it should be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see uh, kind of how it does here with this dumb truck. It is a pretty big truck. And we do a pretty good job here as well. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video please hit the like button it's much appreciated as it does help out with the youtube algorithms here i really do enjoy uploading every single day and i definitely want to continue it as well and i do have a lot of stuff here in the works some pretty epic mods uh, for some of this series as well looks like we're slipping just a little bit here four by four is activated and the gate is closed here i do have the key hopefully the gate is not frozen otherwise i'm not sure how we're gonna really get that opened on up here but i will have to say guys that this uh plow works really really well here definitely a really good setup hopefully we could get some more plows here in the game the other plows recently have uh, been just kind of crashing out my games hopefully we could get those fixed here so we could use those as well but we are going to be making some pretty big snow piles here today all right, let's see if we can get right up close to the gate here. Hopefully, we can get it. No problem here. We definitely have to make room for it. Otherwise, it's probably not going to work out too well here for us. But we're pretty close here. And uh, wow, this truck just does a really good job. Got a 10-foot plow. is a pretty big plow. But I think it really does help us on out there. So we'll just leave the truck here. We should be able to open it. Yeah, looks like that opened. No problem. We'll get those uh, kind of swung open here. So you guys can see we have a huge area here. And we do have this area here. It looks like a few people forgot to close close their uh, doors here now we don't have to plow back there and we have a lot of plowing to do all right, let's get to plowing here. Let's see if we can push all of it up against the fence. Now, one thing, they do not want us to kind of push it through the fence here. We'll be breaking the fence if we do that. And this is a pretty new uh, building as well here. Self-storage units are pretty neat. And I definitely want to see if we can do more videos here with them as well. But wow, every time I look at this dumb truck, it is definitely one of my uh, top favorite trucks here in Farm Sim. Really do like it. This thing just looks so sweet, especially with the assaulter uh, there in the back. Having uh, the uh, snow plow on it. This is a really good configuration. I'm a huge fan of these body styles. Let me know, guys, what is your favorite Silverado? Is it the new ones? Is it this generation or, or the older ones as well? I do like the new ones, and I think there is a dump truck coming out soon as well. Hopefully, uh, we could uh, do some cool videos with that as well. But wow, the Fisher does a really good job here at scraping down. Definitely want to get back drag in the game. Back dragon would be really helpful. Definitely uh, make it a little bit more realistic as well.
We're making pretty good progress here. We're actually coming up on the last few passes here. There is lots of sections uh, to this area here, but it is a lot of fun uh, using this truck here. Now, I will have to say, guys, uh, backing up with this truck is a little tricky. The visibility isn't the best. Probably a pickup truck is the way to go here, but we do have a full fleet. We do have lots of driveways, and all the trucks are busy here. Another pass or two. Now, we do have to put down salt. We do actually have a little bit of sand mixed in with the salt, but it's mainly salt to really help out and then that sand will help give traction here but the uh, dump truck here definitely putting in the work here today and uh, hopefully we do get some more snow before the end of the season maybe we get some early spring as well which should be a lot of fun so there we have it guys we are done plowing now it's just uh, time to run a little bit of salt on here and this should be a pretty quick and easy thing to do looks like we are getting even more snow as we are trying to go out and uh, plow more and more snow comes on down here let's see Looks like we'll do uh, probably pass or two and then we're, we should be all set. Now this extra area here on the side is actually for trailer storage, but during the winter months, they do ask that the owners do take it on back there. You guys can see we are melting quite a bit of snow, and we are making really good progress here, but I think that's where we'll call it a day, and I will finish this little bit up here off camera, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll get into snow plow here with the Duramax. This dumb truck did a really good job. Jeff definitely want to use some other plows, but the uh, Fisher Straight Blade once again uh, did a really good job job as well but thanks for watching today's video stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more